Good morning. This is the Sunday of the Holy Fathers of the Fourth Ecumenical Council, and we are reading a, the Tipica service this morning. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy, holy Mortal, mortal have, have mercy on us. Holy, holy God, holy, holy Mighty, Holy, holy mortal, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy, holy Mighty, holy, holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord. Cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, for God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he had done for thee. Who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy, and executeth judgment for all them that are wronged. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity we will he be wrong. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. <clears throat> For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his sons, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are as the grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. <coughs> And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord in my life. I will pray, chant unto my God, for as long as I have my being. Trust ye not in princes, in the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. His spirit shall go forth, and he shall return unto his earth. In that day all his thoughts 
shall perish. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who hath made heaven and the earth, the sea and all that is therein, who keepeth truth unto eternity, who executeth judgment for the wronged, who giveth food unto the hungry. The Lord looseth the fettered, the Lord maketh wise the blind, the Lord setteth the right the fallen. The Lord loveth the righteous, the Lord preserveth the proselytes. He shall adopt for his own the orphan and the widow, and the way of sinners shall he destroy. The Lord shall be king unto eternity, thy God, O Zion, unto generation and generation, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> o only begotten Son and Word of God, who art immortal, who for our salvation will to be incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man, and was crucified, O Christ our God, and trampled down death by death, who art one of the Holy Trinity, glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, us. In thy kingdom remember us, O Lord, when thou comest into thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile ye, and persecute ye, and say all manner of evil against ye falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest into thy kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when thou comest into thy kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when thou comest in to thy kingdom. The reading from the epistle of St. Paul to Titus. Titus, my son, the saying is sure. I desire you to insist on these things so that those who have believed in God may be careful to apply themselves to, themselves to good deeds. These are excellent and profitable, profitable to men but avoid stupid controversies, genealogies, dissensions, and quarrels over the law, for they, for they are unprofitable and futile. As for a man who is factious, after admonishing him once or twice, have nothing more to do with him, knowing that such a person is perverted and sinful. He is self-condemned. When I send Artemis or Tychicus to you, do your best to come to me at Nicopolis, for I have decided to spend the winter there. Do your best to, spend, to speed Zenus the lawyer and Apollos on their way. See that they, are lack, that they are lacking nothing. And let our people learn to apply themselves to good deeds, 
so as to help cases of urgent need and not to be unfruitful. All who are with me send greetings to you. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with you all, amen. The readings from the Gospel of St. Matthew. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor did they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may know your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For assuredly, I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one tittle will not by any means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. Whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The heavenly choir singeth thy praises, saying, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Come unto him and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. The heavenly choir singeth thy praises, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy, of thy glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The choir of holy angels and archangels with all the powers of heaven singeth thy praises, singing, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Both now and ever, and unto <clears throat> ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, God the, the Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven, heaven and earth, and, and of all things visible and invisible, and, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Forgive, remit, pardon, O God, our sins, both voluntary and involuntary, in deed and in word, in knowledge or in ignorance, committed by night or by day, in mind and in thought. Forgive us them all, for thou art good, and lovest mankind. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the prayers of the Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Amen. O protection of Christians that cannot be put to shame, mediation unto the Creator most constant. O despise not the suppliant voices of those who have sinned, but be thou quick, O good one, to come unto our aid, who in faith cry unto thee, hasten to intercessions, and speed thou to make supplication. Thou who dost ever protect, O Theotokos, them that honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Kyrie eleison, 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 Kyrie eleison. Yara borum, 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 yara borum. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. 
O Christ our God, who art worshipped and glorified at all times and at every hour, both in heaven and on earth, who art in long suffering and plenteous in mercy and compassion, who lovest the just men and showest mercy upon the sinner, and who callest all men to repentance through, through the promise of blessings to come, receive, receive O Lord, our, at this very hour our supplications and direct our lives in the way of thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our minds aright, cleanse our thoughts, deliver us from all affliction, trouble, and distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by them, we may attain unto the unity of the faith, and to the knowledge of, the, of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In the Lord shall my soul be praised. Let the meek hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my tribulations. Come unto him, and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord will encamp round about them that fear him, and will deliver them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that hopeth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, all ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Rich men have turned poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there that desireth life, who loveth to see good days? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are opened unto their supplication. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, utterly to destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them out of all their tribulations. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a contrite heart, and he will save the humble of spirit. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keepeth all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the righteous shall do, shall do wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of the servants, and none of them will do wrong that hope in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Uh, we're reading the homily this morning from the prologue for July 19th. The scripture reading uh, verse quoted at the beginning is, I will endeavor that you may be able after my, de my, de decease. my decease to have these things always in remembrance. Open your hearts, O brethren, to receive and understand this great mystery. The apostle says first that he will not be slack in reminding the faithful of the saving truth of faith, of the divine power which Christ the Lord has given to men and of the preparing of men to receive the divine power, fleeing the fleshly lusts of this world. And now he goes even further and promises that he will continue this reminding after his death, that, that is, going out, the word used in the Greek text, from this world, when he will have put off this body. Oh, what a divine faith. Oh, what comfort. Oh, what sweetness. The apostle promises that he will from the other world, continue to care for the church of God on earth, continue the work he hath begun of reminding the faithful, continue his love for those who believe in Christ on earth, of apostolic love, close indeed to the love of Christ, close indeed to the love of Christ. O apostolic discernment, which the Spirit of God gives to a man who has love, even while that man is still enfolded in the dark vesture of the body. The Apostle Paul gave this promise to the faithful nearly 2,000 years ago. Has he fulfilled it? He has to the letter, not only as there are many to witness reminding the faithful through his epistles and his successors, the bishops, but more fundamentally, 
by an unceasing action within the church from the other world, the Apostle Peter has appeared many times, as have the other apostles, whenever God's providence has seen the need for them to appear and have reminded the faith, the fathers of the church and the faithful of how vital it is to uphold the truth and how to set aright their way of life. Even when he has not appeared in dreams or visions, he has in hidden ways, known only to heaven, acted and still acts for our salvation. Life after death was as close to the holy apostles as is the sun to those who have eyes. Through their prayers, may the Lord open the eyes of our spirit that we may know whether we walk and what awaits us after death. O Lord Jesus, who art of great mercy, lead us from darkness to light in thy mercy and at the prayers of thy holy apostles. To thee be glory and praise forever. Amen. Let us believe us praise and worship the Lord. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. That concludes the service.